Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this video I will show you how we can use 3D models into our footages using Element 3D plugin in Adobe After Effects. So I hope this tutorial will be useful and by the end of this tutorial if you have learned anything new from this please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado, let's begin. So here we are in After Effects, now let's import our footage onto this project panel. Further right click on this project panel, import, select your file or else you can directly drop your footage onto this project panel. Now again select your footage and drop it onto this composition icon here. Now let's check the preview of this, press 0 for RAM preview. So this is a royalty free footage which I have downloaded from pexels.com. So link in the description if you want to use the same footage. So the video length is 26 seconds, I don't want this much of length, so 12 seconds would be fine. So be on that 12th second, press N on the keyboard to select the end frame, right click, trim come to work area. Nice. So here you can see the footage is not steady, we are getting some camera movements here. So in order to place 3D objects where the camera is not steady, first we need to track that footage. So select your footage layer from timeline, scroll down to this tracker options. If you are not finding this tracker options here, come to this window and enable tracker from here or else go to this workspace and set this to default so that we will get all these options. So now select this footage from timeline, hit this tracker and click on this track camera. So in this effects window if you want to get detailed analysis expand this advanced and check this detailed analysis so it starts analyzing our footage and gives us some tracking points when it is done and it may take time depending upon the length of the footage and resolution so here you can see this tracking process is done and we got some track points here so if you want to increase the size of these track points you can do that just by increasing its size here like this so let me bring it down okay so now let's select the track points at the place where we want to place our model so in order to select these track points hold left mouse key and simply select the track points here so here i will be selecting this bunch of track points like this now right click and select this create solid and camera so we got a solid created here so here you can see it is created here so if you play this by pressing zero on the keyboard you can see that the solid will be staying in its position so which is a good sign so here tracking is done properly so this tracking process is done now let's import 3d models so here we are using element 3d plugin in order to import 3d models in adobe after effects so hope you got that plugin installed so now let's create a solid layer for element 3d so come to this layer options new solid let me rename this to element okay now select this element layer come to this effects and presets panel and look for element so select this element and drop it onto this element layer now click on this scene setup so we got a new window open to work in element 3d so now let's import 3d model here so here i got a black panther model which i have downloaded from sketchfab which is free to use even for commercial purpose also so i will be leaving a link in the description for that model you can download it and remember that we can only use obj format files in element 3d so make sure that whichever model you are using it is in obj format so now let's import the model so click on this import either from here or else you can import from file import here you can use 3d sequence but for now let's import this 3d object or else let's import it from here only so click on this and here i got this black panther model which is an object file it open alignment let it be from bottom 
you can see there is no texture available on this model so hit ok so keep an eye on this x y and z axis so currently you can see the model is flipped here so let's rotate it press e on the keyboard or else you can use this option to rotate it or else you can use this orientation so let me change this to here and let me rotate it in this way like 360 okay so press w on the keyboard for move option or else you can use this here just click on this so here you can see the pivot is not at this model position so now let's change this pivot position so click on this icon here axis move it sorry select it and move it downward okay once the axis point is set again click on this now we can move the model from this position okay so let me place it here nice so now let's create a ground plane so go to this create option select this plane and let me increase the scaling of this fine and let's see that it touches the base of the model here like this okay so now let's apply materials onto this plane model and our panther model so go to this presets physical so for this ground plane i will be using this matte shadow just apply it here so that it will not be visible in the scene now let's apply some black metal for this model so over here i will be using this pro shaders 2 metal and let me apply this material here okay so we got this nice material applied onto this model so in order to make these 3d objects fit into the scene we need to use a 360 image of that particular environment so since i don't have that 360 camera here i will be using a screenshot of the video which i am using so in order to import that or use that environment map we need to click on this environment tab and select that environment map so here i got a screenshot of that the same scene which i'm using in this tutorial so here you can see this is a screenshot which is the same picture of our video so select that and hit ok so you can see the difference here we are getting some reflections of our scene onto this model which makes it to blend properly into the scene so this is an important step make sure to apply environment map okay so once this is done right click on this model auxiliary animation and set it to channel one so by setting this to aux channel we'll get individual control of this model suppose if your scene is having three to five models at that time this aux animation channels will be very useful so make sure to set it to channel one and hit ok so here you can see we got our model so if we play this now we can see it is floating our model is floating in 3d space it is not sticking to this ground so now let's fix that so beyond this first frame select this element layer group one since our model is group one expand this group one come to this group utilities expand this create group null and create so here you can see we got a group one null layer created so select this track solid layer now press p on the keyboard for position options select this position values click on this position go to edit copy those position values now select this group one null press p on the keyboard for position once again select those position values go to edit and paste so here you can see our model is at its position now at that solid position but it is 
small in size now let's increase the scaling of that so select this element so you remember that it is set to channel 1 in aux channels so here we got option for aux channels expand it it is in channel 1 so expand channel 1 here we got the scaling options so let me increase the scaling of this model here like this okay so if you want to rotate this model so expand this rotation options so here we can rotate our model here you can change the x-axis position y-axis position but don't touch this z-axis position so here I let me show you don't change this z position because if we change the z position the track or else the model will not be sticking onto its position properly so don't touch this z position value you can change this x-axis y-axis and rotation whatever you like so once this is set now we can hide out our track solid so now if we play this animation sorry play this video we can see that our model is staying in its position which is nice okay now select this element layer once again scroll down to this render settings ambient occlusion enable ambient occlusion so increase the intensity here a bit nice so in this way we can add 3d models into our footages easily using element 3d plugin in adobe after effects so i hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and support me by subscribing so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye